Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. Uh, so it's been a while since I last uploaded, but uh, I finally got my Moe's in a decent shape, and I'll show you guys a build guide soon once I actually finalize the build. But uh, this video is going to be on how you can do something very similar to read only in Borderlands 3. But if you don't know, read only was a method in Borderlands 2, their pre-sequel, and potentially 1 as well. Where you can infinitely farm things that aren't normally farmable, like non-responsible enemies, quest rewards, and basically everything really. And in Borderlands 3, what they've done, uh, I'm not sure if this was a decision on Epic or Gearbox's uh, part, but uh, you can no longer use read only. Every time you load up the game, the game will simply say no to you read only and cancel it. So you can't actually do you know, the exact same thing and just put on read only and save quit every time to farm. But instead what you can do is do something called save duplication. And to show you something where it did work on, here are all my Laidas that I've gotten from farming the uh, all targets of opportunity kills uh, crew challenge. And how this works is you essentially, uh, for this specific farm, you kill the last guy that you have in your target opportunity list. Make sure to not kill him until you have this farming method set up. So you want to find the safe, uh, the closest fast travel, or not fast travel, safe station, which you'll spawn at. And what you're going to do, you're going to save and quit. I'm not going to do it here because I've already done it. And go into your... Go into your um, documents, my games, Borderlands 3, saved, and there will be uh, just like sad files here. I've opened them with notepad, so that's why mine has a notepad icon, you can't see it there, but uh, anyway. So, it says 1, 2, 3 in here, that indicates the slave, save slot of the save. So, obviously, saves, this one means save slot number one, so it's your first character, and things like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy it, and then you're going to put it in a... in another... in another f folder. I call this one Borderlands 3 Save Backup. And what we're going to do is copy it right before uh, you kill the last guy. Like I said, you save and quit and on the closest save, uh, save point or respawn point and then cop save and quit copy and paste this file that you have into here what this you do is this save that you have backed up will now be what this save is right now right in front of the uh, save point and then what you're going to do is I'm actually just going to show you guys so what you're going to do is go to the Final target opportunity, so I'm gonna use my slide rally to get there a bit faster. So my last target opportunity, because I did it in a weird order, it's gonna be the sky bullies, which is kind of annoying. But uh, the best try I figured out to dealing with them not spawning is just slide a ring around the arena, and they should spawn like so. There you go. There's a the second one. Right. So I'm gonna kill them. I do apologize for the frame rate, it's not usually too, that bad when I'm not recording. But anyway, so after we kill them, we receive another mail. So we've got a Ruthless Lyura. I think Ruthless Fire Rate. And we're just going to get rid of the other mail, so there's only Lyuras in here. Anyway, so you've seen that, we just killed them. And, and we got our Lyura. And what we're going to do is we're going to save quit. And this next part is very important. Before you copy and paste your character and do it again, you must hover over another character. And if you only have one character, you can obviously just make a new character or copy your old one and rename the save file. So for example, I only have my Moe's, so what I would do is copy this, post, paste it somewhere, and change it to slot number 2 or slot number 3 or whatever you want. And that's essentially how you do it. I also recommend uh, renaming your characters 
if you do a specific farm with them, like this one is my Ludogram farmer, so I'm gonna name him Ludogram farmer so I know which one to go on when I'm doing that specific thing. But anyway, that's essentially how you farm. And just to show you guys, I'm not making this up, this does actually work. What I'm gonna do is, oh, whoops, I wasn't supposed to do that yet, actually. Actually, this is a good time, uh, so while I'm showing you guys that it does work in the background, uh, let me tell you guys something that it won't work on. So, what it does work on are things like Lyudas and the baby makers that you get from completing all the uh, claptrap missions in the crew challenge. However, it does not appear to work on actual mission rewards in which the uh, quest giver gives you the weapon in his hand, similar to uh, Borderlands 2. If he hands you the weapon, uh, uh, so any missions like the guaranteed mash request on Eden 6, right near the drop pod, uh, fast travel, that I have not been able to get to work. So yeah. Anyway, so what we're going to want to do is paste. So this will replace the file from your backup onto your onto your actual file that you're using in the game folder. And we're going to boot up the game again. So yeah, once again, quest rewards, like actual quest rewards, which don't send you it in the mail, they don't seem to work. I've tried trying to farm the mashes several times. It all gave me the same stats. So I'm going to take that as uh, quest rewards are predetermined in terms of what parts they have. So yeah. Another thing is, if you're trying to farm, uh, if you're trying to farm like one time spawn enemies, I'm not sure if there are any. You want to make sure you're level 50 with mayhem mode on. For, for any crew challenges, it doesn't matter what level you're on when you're killing the enemy. Like in terms of what level the enemy actually is, because uh, male rewards are scaled to your level, specifically your level when you complete a crew challenge. So if you level 50 when you do this, then you get level 50 like either. But uh, you can just turn off mayhem mode, and it'll still give you a level 50 uh, like either. So yeah. But yeah, like I said, once again, I've killed him again now, and you can see that. Um, you can see that it is different from the last Lido we got. So yeah. That's how farming the Lido works. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, once again, you can do this for any crew challenges. And potentially any quests as well. But I don't think uh, the quests in which the quest giver gives you the weapon himself work. So things like the Masher you won't be able to farm. I need in six. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll keep farming to make a build grab for you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.